He sent a check to the Marlins wanting a discount and a multi-year deal. They said, no, we're going to go year to year. Maybe this is just protocol for them. Maybe this is also them not wanting to play into Marlins man's games because Marlins man suggested to that town hall that they have Marlins man's days. He thought he should be a promotion. So maybe they're going, hey, we can't give this guy a favor because then he's going to ask the world of us. It's one of those things, give him an inch, they take a mile. That's what I think they fear about Marlins man. Yeah, we can give this guy a break on the season ticket deal, but what's he going to demand out of us down the road? No. So they say, no, we're going to go year by year with you. He takes a picture of the check he signed and sent and sends it to the media. Who does that? Who needs to do that? You know why Warren Buffett is awesome? Because Warren Buffett doesn't take pictures of his checks and show it to everybody. Warren Buffett is awesome because he eats at Denny's like the rest of us. Rich guys don't need to take pictures of their checks and say, look what I sent. And so now Marlins man says he's going to try to find a different team. There is no bigger bozo than this guy. It is time for it to end. It is time for him to take a hike. And I can't wait until the cold, hard, slap reality hits this dude. We don't care about you. Nobody cares about you. You keep inserting yourself into the stage, into the news, assuming that you're a big deal, but you're not. You're not. You are obnoxious. You are egotistical. You are self-indulgent. And you're now off the reservation.